Hey guys, it's Brandon. I'm showing you kind of an update on my 55 gallon turtle tank. Uh, I've been wrestling with the pH, trying to get it all figured out lately. I did get this one set a week ago, and throughout the last couple days, it's kind of been climbing again. Oh, please don't bite me, turtle. It kind of hurts. And it's kind of cute, but it kind of hurts. Come on. So I checked it yesterday. It was about a 6.8. So it's still climbing just a little bit. So right now we are completely neutral. Non-acidic, non-alkaline. Well, that is good. And it is better than the 8.3 that it was at for my normal tap water. Which I kind of kick myself for not noticing or realizing this earlier. The alkaline water has hurt his shell. So we are on the road to recovery and getting this guy um, feeling better. Uh, let me show you what I got to start getting this better. Alright, here in my mud sink, this is a reverse osmosis system. So I have tap water coming in through, goes down to that one, up out of this one, through a semi-permeable membrane, back through a polishing, and then water out. It is still currently rinsing, but the theory is, and everything I have uh, I was reading on these, says that the water out should be between a 5 and a 6 for pH. So once I do get this completely, um, completely rinsed out and the water is starting to be in the right range, this might be exactly what I need and the right water to start adding to my my tanks to get them equaled out. So what this is doing is I'm still trying to get it worked out, but you have bad water out. That's just going out. I guess I can collect that for the plants and uh, watering just stuff in our house, but it, it is technically non-potable water. So you don't want to drink it, 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 but it is usable still. So I can have another bucket in here probably to collect that. And then this is all the quote unquote clean water that should be the higher pH for um, for what I'm doing. So I'm still trying to work it out, still trying to see exactly what I need to do. Um, if any of you guys have had experiences with an RO reverse osmosis system, can you please let me know? I This is all, all still very, very new to me and yeah still trying to get it figured out so thanks guys for checking out my randomness um been working on oh quite a bit of youtube stuff lately um a couple videos on this channel whole, whole lot of stuff on my other channels but i still am going to do at least at least a couple videos a week on here so thank you guys so much hit the old like button that helps me out a lot know that you're out there later guys